So season three is going to be getting a few more reveals here tomorrow and Tuesday ahead of the season three launch on Wednesday. Sounds like they're going to be debuting a Warzone change blog and DMZ blog of some sort tomorrow with likely the battle pass and all that stuff on Tuesday. But in the meantime, I want to discuss something that I've seen a lot of discussion about lately in the last few days or so since season three was fully revealed. In the season three trailer, we got a glimpse of Afghan, fully built out as it was in Modern Warfare 2 in 2009, but not as a 6v6 map. Instead, just a segment of the Satik Caves complex from Al Masra and a ground war map that's coming. And many people were upset about that. And while it may not be a super groundbreaking reason why that will shock you moment, it's a pretty simple answer that subjectively is good or bad, depends on how you look at it. But while not explicitly stated, it does have a logical explanation as to why that's not the case. Today, we're bringing it down and letting you know all you need to in regards to why some seemingly free content isn't quite here yet. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. We're approaching season three here, so there's a lot to go over in the next week or two. So if you'd like to join the community, I'd love to have you. And finally, check out G Fuel's 30% off discounts for the month of April with code Espresso on certain tubs like Starfruit and Hype Sauce. Those are two of my personal favorites, but more on them a little later. For now, let's jump into it. So, Afghan. When the trailer first leaked ahead of schedule, it was what I want to say was from PlayStation Japan, if I remember correctly. So, a lot of the audience here on the channel and in this region of the COD franchise wasn't necessarily privy to the subtitles and text on screen. So, people just assumed it was going to be Afghan as a 6v6 map since it was a flyover right next to additional MP content in that trailer. But that wasn't the case. However, this also isn't the first and likely won't be the last time that we see something like this. Afghan, as a part of Satik Cave Complex, is a ground war segment from Al Masra, as all ground war maps have been in Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 to date. Every single one of the maps was from Verdansk back in the day, and Modern Warfare 2 shows no signs of stopping to this point. Said is from Said City, Sarif Bay as well, Sarif Bay, so is Tarak, so is Al Malik International Airport, so is Zaya Observatory. So the upcoming Rohan Oil and of course Satik Cave Complex is no surprise that that is as well from Al Masra. Now, yes, there are two additional ground war maps of Guijaro and Santa Senya, but as we've discussed plenty of times, it's not from Almazra, but it is from Las Almas, the next war zone map, or so it would appear to be the next war zone map based off the TAC map that's already found in the campaign in the mission LC Nombre. But different story, different day, that matches up. We've already talked about that plenty of times before. But anyways, for Almazra in particular, we've seen a handful of those areas have iconic locations in the modern warfare universe, hidden away, sometimes within the map, sometimes named as actual locations, other times just kind of hidden as a sub point of interest within the point of interest, but places like Showdown, that's in the middle of Akdar Village. Dome is in the middle of Zaya Observatory. But in particular, there's a rather interesting handful of Modern Warfare 2 2009 specific maps in Al Masra. Remakes are available, but have not been seen for Afghan, High Rise, Terminal, Storm, that's at the edge of Fortress, though truthfully, the warehouse layout for Storm is kind of a generic warehouse layout across the map. You'll see that in a handful of locations. Almazra City's got a couple of them in the northern outskirts, but also places like Quarry and Rust on the edge of Rohan Oil and Tarak. So while we've seen remakes like Dome, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see Showdown come there as a part of like an Akdar village location as a ground war map later on down the line and 6v6 as a result, isn't it strange that we haven't seen any of those six classic and fan favorite locations as 6v6 maps? Now, in a game that loves to reuse assets, let's check the notes here. Shoot House and Shipment in Season 1, neither of those were original to Modern Warfare 2. Zaya Observatory, Al Malik International from Al Masra, and the reissue of Museum from the Beta in Season 2. Black Gold from Rohan Oil, Satik Cave and Rohan Oil from Al Masra, Exhibit from Museum, Shipment from, well, Shipment for Gunfight, Ali from Akdar Village and Al Masra, and Black Sight being from, I want to say from Co op at one point, but definitely from the new Gulag and Warzone 2 for Season 3. So for a team that loves to reuse this kind of stuff and place it in different locations around the multiplayer experience, why are we willingly holding back six potential maps in multiplayer? Well, if you didn't guess it already, it's because they're not meant for this game, but instead the next one. We've touched on this already a few times on the channel in regards to what you can expect for 2023, but not necessarily in the same sense of don't get your hopes up for this game and that sort of sentiment. Because for those who may still be unaware, right now, nothing has been confirmed. I wouldn't expect any official announcement or anything for COD 2023, at the very least for like another month and a half, like the end of May at the earliest, maybe. But even still, I'm not expecting it until at least like season four at that point. But the rumor has been currently that Sledgehammer, after they ended up launching Vanguard, 
moved on over immediately to make year two content for Modern Warfare 2, something that was previously going to just be thought of as additional content from Infinity Ward, but for whatever reason, it seems like that is not going to be the case. And instead, Sledgehammer is going to make a new premium game, air quote on premium, for $70 or so, whatever you can expect, for a new entry into the franchise, something that is their own game, but is going to be a continuation of this experience. Changed however they want to fundamentally, so that could mean, say, things like movement, gameplay mechanics, and other things like that, sure, but with your content from this game shifting over and continuing on into the next of what we can call, just for theory's sake, because we don't have an official name, Modern Warfare 3. But the rumor is going to be a new campaign here for a Modern Warfare 3, continuing the story from what we saw this past year through not only campaign, but also spec ops, but then also the raids as well, but also that we'll see multiplayer content in the form of every single Modern Warfare 2 2009 map and seemingly weapons as well. Plus, what I would hope is at least some additional new exclusive content for a Modern Warfare 3 as well. But the big bulk of these sort of remakes that we see already existing within Almazra, that's going to be part of the experience you have to buy as an expansion for this upcoming year in this upcoming fall. So that would explain why we do not see these and why we will not see these coming here within Modern Warfare 2 Season 4, Season 5. If there is a Season 6, though, kind of seems like there will not be at this point. And so those free six maps likely will never see the light of day in this experience right now. But again, if things do transfer, your weapons, your operators, your cosmetics, all that kind of stuff, you'll be able to play with it, but not just in this application we have now. Instead, it'll be something that ends up coming in 2023, the Sledgehammer product, not the Infinity Ward product, which might be good or bad, depending on how you look at it, I guess. I mean, if it is something they make substantial changes fundamentally to the gameplay where you enjoy it fundamentally more than what we have right now with Modern Warfare 2, all these maps, modes, weapons, all that kind of stuff could be transferring over and you get all of that, plus these remakes of every Modern Warfare 2 2009 map. So that's, I guess, up for interpretation on how you want, but it is something that is kind of weird. And that's where I want to jump into my overall thoughts real quickly, because obviously I'm always of the mindset of I want more. That might sound entitled, that might sound unrealistic, but in terms of content, maps, and all that kind of stuff, I'm always going to be rooting for the player to end up getting more. Whether or not that can actually happen or not, I'm always going to be saying, hey, let's try and get some more. But I mean, when we have at the end of season three, not even the launch of season three upcoming this next week, at the end, we'll have 18 maps for 6v6. And while yes, it is nice to almost be doubled the maps that we saw at launch at that point, it still doesn't really excuse the lack of maps, in my opinion, to begin with. Framing something as nice that we have almost doubled it is one thing, but when that initial number is so low to begin with, it's not really saying much. I mean, you could say four is double two, but two is not a lot. So while we're not talking about only having four maps, 18 maps by the end of season three still isn't as many as some Call of Duty games launched with in the past. So obviously I would love to have those maps to bolster out content, to offer up the ability to increase that playable count. But at the same time, if this major expansion is true, it kind of makes sense as much as I hate to say it and you'd otherwise be cutting yourself at the knees. Ultimately though, I just think that it's a terrible situation that we have right now where we have less than ideal number of post-launch maps. Don't get me wrong, season three is I think making strides in the right direction, but the fact that it's taken five months to get there is the part that's concerning. I think it would be incredibly cool to see another game called Modern Warfare 2 introducing maps from Modern Warfare 2. But the thing that I can't really understand is what's happening with the creation side of the maps to begin with. We've already been drip fed so much minimally over the past five months in the start of this year. And a lot of what we have to show for it is remakes or reused assets. So if we've been pulling things that already exist, but limiting those that also could bolster out that content, like why haven't we been seeing more along the way to begin with? If that makes sense, I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, that is why we will not be seeing any of these classic remakes or at the very least why I'm not expecting any of these classic remakes. It is possible anything could actually happen. Of course, this could be entirely wrong. This thinking may be entirely off base, but at the moment, I'm not getting my hopes up. I'd be incredibly surprised, pleasantly surprised if I'll add, to see these at any point during this year of Modern Warfare 2. What the next year holds, well, that's a different story. So as fitting as it would be to play some classic remakes in a game called Modern Warfare 2, go in level-headed without any expectations. If they happen, that's awesome. If not, you won't be disappointed. But 
For now, that's what we're going to call it. Before we wrap everything up, though, a reminder, check out my friends over at G Fuel for 20% off all items and 30% off certain items like Starfruit and Hype Sauce for the month of April. Honestly, those two are in my regular rotation. I couldn't recommend them more. Those and like the Morbius Nectarine flavor are the ones that I would recommend the most. G Fuel is like a cup of coffee to me in the morning, so have one of those, and those three are my top flavors for sure. So if you guys want to check those out, pick something up for yourself, you just go to Espresso, 20% off all items all the time, but 30% off certain ones linked below. But that said, that's what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below are you guys upset that we're not going to see some of these classic maps and perhaps more return do you think this checks out and you're okay with it whatever the case drop your thoughts down below but if you enjoyed the video you find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to stay with all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and anything con related and of course some stuff upcoming here with not only season 3 but con 2023 as we get this sort of remake on the horizon as well for now though that's what we're gonna call it thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace